this is Jinx. So some people have issues on starting off. Completely fine. Because I've had issues starting off as well. So start off, you're going to need a base. Blah, 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 blah. Of course. Go in here. We go to assets. And since I own the Scunny um, base, all this fun stuff, I'm just going to import this, you know? Give it a second, make it think, make the brain work. There we go. Cool. All that fun stuff. Go to here. And it's going to look really weird like this at first, sometimes, with some models. All you've got to do is go to this, go to the circle thing, it'll be material properties. And you're going to want to click on the base color, you can, because that'll change the texture and such. You can go to add new settings, and you click on this alpha blend. And you want to change it to either alpha clip or opaque. Most people use alpha clip because it looks pretty good. And that's it. Get rid of these stupid things. <laughs> okay. Now we've got our base. So we gotta hide the armature because that's a lot. That's a lot. That is too much work. Let's say I wanna add a head. Okay. Go to our assets or anything here. You, if you have a head bot or if you have a free one, th that works too. Let's go duck. Let's go the V2 and let's just bam. All that. Okay? Oh no, our head is so fucking weird right now. Don't worry, it's fine. Click on the face. I personally would name these um, like face. And eyes, because that's what these are. And if we go to here, and we go to face, base color, and surface, we're going to click on image texture. That's going to make this black, which is fine. We just click open. We go to our asset where the texture and all that was. And we go to... I'm going to use a custom texture that I created and let's see one eeny meeny miny mo this one and we just import that here now the nice thing is is that you can right click go down and put the geometry to object and this will bring that thing all the way from down here up here because you want to move the head down a bit so that it looks natural on the base, you know? Because you don't want, you know, something to go beep. That don't work. Unless you want that. That's fine. But with every base, you just got to angle a head to how you want it. And how you think it'll fit. Like that. She looks good. So now, we got all this. Um, let's put some eyes on her because she looks really weird with just that. So we go here, gonna make it black, gonna hide the armature because that's annoying. Gonna go to the face tech, well we're gonna go to our folder and such. We're gonna click here where there's eye textures. I personally really like the version 1 of the eyes here. Because they're so subtle and they're very soft. That's one that I've named. Or changed the colors out. There you go. If you don't want this sheen on here, because sometimes that bothers people, it bothers me. You can go down to spectacular and you can turn that off. And then it'll make it more crisp. You do the same for the face. Turn that off. It's more crisp. It's more precise color. And it's very pretty. Very proud of it. Okay. What do we do next? Oh no! I'm stuck. I have a head and a body and they're not attached. It's fine. It's fine. 
We're gonna go to our custom mono options. We're not gonna join the mes meshes because personally, and this is a personal thing, and it might work, and it might work if you do it on your own, but I don't join message, 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 whatever the fuck the word is, <laughs> meshes. There we go. And I don't merge all the bones personally, because that just makes it, it breaks for me. So I just do remove zero weight bones because yeah. Or I'm gonna try to do the merge bones with this one and see how that works. And if it works well, then I'll continue to use it like that. But mergers can automatically merge. Oh, okay. So, this armature, and this is the base, so this is like your body armature, and this is your head armature. You just click that and just merge. Oh! Hey! That actually worked out really well. Okay, now how do we check this? Well, we start to pose mode, and we move the head from side to side. There we go. Do the eyes move? Yes, they do. We're all good. Stop. And that just puts it back into the rest mode, I guess. Now we want what? Clothes? <coughs> and sculpting. For specifically this amazing artsy person, which is fine. We're gonna go here and let's go to hmm, let's see. Let's actually do something that we've made. So I originally just made a top. And there we go. So it's already sculpted and stuff to this face, which is okay. Um so we'll go here, we'll do this to be clip, that's all flips, that's all jacks, okay. This looks so good, I want some pants. You know, she's looking a bit weird without some pants. She looks comfy. Because with this, we can just... I'm not sure you can just there. And I believe this doesn't. Okay, that doesn't have them yet. I think it'll be fine. Nope. She's lying. It's okay. Shush. Everything is okay. Sculpting. So this is also going to be really helpful to do. Um, if you have no idea what to do, what do I do? It's fine. We're gonna go here, and we're going to go to the wrench. This will be a modifier. What we want to do is add an armature, and we want to just boop, bam. Now this has an armature for this face. And then we also want to do data transfer. Well, what does it do? Shush. We'll click on the body here, because this will ma this will transfer the weight, the weight painting from this base onto this tank top that I made. What if it looks wonky? It's okay. It's supposed it's not supposed to be, but it, not everyone's creation is perfect. Hi. How are you doing? That's good. I'm also doing a tutorial. <laughs> so the artsy person was having troubles in the creator and like the actual companion or the academy server and they were needing help. So they have to like, they're like wondering how to do Blender, like how to make avatars in Blender, so I'm working with it. Yes. Ooh. Ah. Oh, 
pause the recording? I don't think I can.